The following is a production of Learfield Sports. The Badger Hockey Digest, presented by Charter Communications. Hi, and welcome to the Badger Hockey Digest, brought to you by Charter. Joined by Badgers head coach Mike Eaves. I'm the radio voice for Wisconsin Hockey, Brian Posick. The Badgers hope to get back on track here this coming weekend against fifth-ranked Denver up in the Mile High City. That follows a couple of home losses to Minnesota State this past weekend. And, you know, Mike, we, we can lament the losses all we want, but I'm kind of a positive type of guy. And there were some encouraging signs, especially on Saturday night, weren't there? Well, uh, all weekend we did some things that we liked. Um, Saturday night and watching the video, some of the things that we saw were things that we worked on during the week. Uh, the breakdowns that we had uh, were big breakdowns, but in both nights we outchanced our opponents. Uh, we are still having challenges putting the puck in the net, and uh, we have we have played. Uh, you know, in a, as I think in history, we've played worst hockey with some of the teams we've had, but because we've scored, mm -hmm. we've been able to cover up those mistakes right now. Because we're not scoring, our our margin of error is very slim, and so everything gets magnified. But. Uh, I can guarantee the fans, and as I talk to you, you watch us practice. Uh, they, they are working extremely hard. We're moving in the right direction. We're bringing this ship back around mm -hmm. and going in the direction that it needs to go. Yeah, you know, if you weren't getting scoring chances, right. then you'd really be concerned. Now, there have been times where you haven't, but last weekend you had. And, uh, you know, I, I think uh, Andy Baggett asked an interesting question. Well, how do you think the fans feel? And uh, as we were walking off the ice on Saturday night, uh, there was no derogatory comments. There was keep going, guys. I heard this from the fans, and, and I have walked off the ice here where I've gotten an ear, mm -hmm. earful. But uh, I, I think my belief is what our fans are seeing is that they're seeing the kids work hard. We're not getting rewarded for our efforts. We're not finding the back of the net. And, I, and, uh, and, and the epitome is... Uh, is uh, uh, Mr. Barnes, yeah. uh, Tyler, right in front of the net, he's got an open net, the goalie's down, and all he needs to do is lift it eight inches over glove, and he just hammers it right into the glove. <laughs> they went and looked at it because they didn't know if the glove went over the line. But that's the kind of uh, phase we're in right now, mm -hmm. and uh, yesterday, it's interesting in the locker room, we had an old goals tape, it's just a, a, a video of goals from the National Hockey League, it plays over and over again, it's to music, the guys are watching that. You know, we're trying to stimulate, as we've talked about, some growth in that economy. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you think about how the fans feel. How do the guys feel? Well, I, I think, like you talk about, it's a choice. Mm -hmm. we, we have a, the great thing about human beings, we, we have things that happen in our life. There's, there's a stimulus and there's a response. And then we as human beings get to choose that. And this is a great lesson for our kids. What's your response coming back to the ring? Because you can mope and you can sulk, mm -hmm. or we can decide this is what we're going to do. We have a plan. There's things we need to work on, and we're going to go back to work and straighten this thing out. And, you know, that's why I think we as coaches, that's our job to lead that. We see our older guys understanding that, and I think because of that, our attitude coming to the rink every day is real positive. It's about getting better and get this thing turned around the way we know it can be. Yeah, and hopefully the ship turns around full force this weekend in Denver. We'll talk about the Pioneers and the Badgers' debut of Nick Kurdilis when we come back on the Badger Hockey Digest. Football, Wi-Fi, wings, now that's a business plan. Glad you like it. Question is, how are you liking charter business? Well, our internet's a lot more powerful than with phone company DSL. It can actually run all this now. Plus, we've got reliable phone and we're saving like crazy. Another everyday victory. Let me see your end zone dance. No, I, I don't dance. All right, let's just do a flying chest bump and call it a day. To save over 25% versus the phone company and get up to a $500 gift card, call now. Well, the Wisconsin Badgers head to Denver this weekend to take on a very good Pioneers team. And on Friday night, Badger fans will get their first look at Nick Kurdilis, the highly touted freshman forward who was ruled ineligible by the NCAA for the first 10 games this season for allegedly violating amateurism rules. And Micah, he's going to wear a familiar number to you, number 17. He's a very talented young man, but... Uh, you know, just because he's on the ice doesn't mean that this ship that you've been talking about will turn immediately, but he certainly can help. No, he'll help with his, uh, he's fresh, he's excited, he'll bring energy. One of his great assets is his ability to skate. He can get up and down the ice very well. Shoots the puck hard, plays hard, it, it, it has great feet in the corners. Mm -hmm. He can escape people. 
Uh, but even yesterday in practice, you could tell he hasn't had a lot of reps in certain areas. We're playing uh, in the zone, and he's getting turned around a little bit. So he's going to be a part of the answer, but not the whole answer. And, and it was interesting. I had a chance to talk to him about that yesterday. And, you know, don't expect to be the guy that's going to lift up like Atlas, the whole team. Sure. Just be a part of the team and pull your side of the rope, and we'll get this thing going. Yeah, you think about what Nick has gone through just <laughs> to finally be eligible, and he's handled it like a 28, 38, 48-year-old no. man, not an 18-year-old kid. No, he's handled very maturely, and I think there was no knee-jerk reaction when the, uh, when the penalty came down to the alleged allegations. I think it speaks to his character and what his parents have, how they've raised Nick. Mm -hmm. And uh, he handled it very well, and, 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 it, and he talks about, if you read his statement after uh, the penalty, he talks about how important it was to be here. This is where he wanted to be. This is where he wanted to play. Education was important because he could have left and gone and played major junior, right. and uh, he decided to stay, and uh, uh, we were very pleased about that, and uh, we're excited to have him back this weekend. All right. Wisconsin plays the Denver Pioneers Friday night and Saturday night, and Denver is a very good team. They're 9-3 and three so far on top of the WCHA at 7-1, and one, ranked fifth in the country. Couple of, coming off a couple of losses to Yale and New Hampshire yeah. over the weekend, but George Gwazdecki's team has found a way to put the puck away, and a lot of the offense comes from the defense, in particular Joey Lelegia and David Mikowski. Yeah, it's uh, in talking to people about their team, their, their defense is the strength of their team. They're very solid. Lelegia is a lot like Schultz from mm -hmm. last year, Justin. Um, and the surprise has been in their forwards. They found a way to put the puck in the net here early in the season, and that has caught people by surprise. But as a result, I, I think if you would talk to George, he would probably tell you that uh, they haven't played as good as he wants them to. But because they've scored goals, it's covered a lot of mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> Sound familiar? Yeah. <laughs> Unfamiliar, I guess. But uh, so they're, they're a good team. Um, and they have good goaltending, and I'm excited for our group to go in there and see what we can get done. Yeah, and we're going to see Brian Engblom again on Friday night. Brian was the honorary captain for Wisconsin's game on Saturday. Former Badger, former teammate of Mike Eves, now works for NBC Sports. And with the NHL lockout, NBC Sports, among others, will be televising more college hockey, and I, I yeah. think that's great for our sport. It is. Uh, NBC Sports, I mm -hmm. believe, on Friday night, and uh, a little later game yep. because of that fact. But, uh, again, exposure for our game. And I think... You know, people like to watch college athletics in general and, and uh, because of the pace and the effort of the kids and college hockey with its pace because we play on ice is a fast game and uh, I think with the HD people will enjoy what we have to offer. All right, Wisconsin and Denver Friday night. That's a 9 o'clock face-off on NBC Sports. Also, you can uh, listen to Saturday night's game, an 8 o'clock face-off on the Badger Sports Network and badgersportsnetwork.com. For Mike Eves, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest brought to you by Charter.